And we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by Stephen Oates, who has been the face of the gay community for years in the media. Morning, Stephen. Good morning. Good morning. I say, as you rolled your eyes, uh, as <laughs> yeah. Stephen and, of course, Make Murphy me feel as old. Well. Make me feel old. For years and years, practically last century. Decades. And Murphy as well. <laughs> yes, Murph Murphy's a new addition, or well, yeah. kind of. So, Welcome uh, to you both. Up and coming star. So tell us a little bit about the Pride Festival. Well, it's a two-week festival, and it's uh, based here in Auckland. And I think it's about five or six years old now. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, yeah, it's really going from strength to strength. It's quite full with lots of events. I mean, there's, you know, there's theatre, there's gallery exhibitions, there's um, dog shows, there's debates, there's panel discussions, and of course, you know, there's the big events like the big gay out, which we already had. That was in the first which weekend. Bill English mm -hmm. went and he, yes, he, he did quite well, didn't yes, he? He did very well. Uh, traditionally, the prime minister is always gone. Um, but, you know, he's a new Prime Minister and he's feeling his way, so... Uh, it's election year. It yeah. is election year, <laughs> yeah. yes. He didn't speak on stage, right. which is the first time in a long time, but he was really engaging with the crowd, so... Didn't do know. any daggy dancing, like didn't see any dancing. Remember that? <laughs> yes, yes, I totally remember that. <laughs> yeah, so then uh, we're finishing up this coming weekend. We've got the big parade, and that's yeah. on Saturday night down Ponsonby Road, which I think starts at 7.30, so everyone should get along to that. What have you been involved with? Because I know you've had quite a few things on mm, your plate during the yes, yes, last always, week or two. I always overcommit myself. <laughs> uh, so I did my dog show on Sunday, just gone, nice. which is amazing. We have that every year in Western Park, Ponsonby. How did that go? Yeah, it's really, look, it's such a fun day. And what I really love about it is that it's for everyone. You know, I mean, my co-papa is to not discriminate. I, you know, it's kids you know, GLBTI, which is gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, intersex, and also, um, you know, all of our straight friends and allies and families nice. and children. Because rainbow families are also mm. a growing thing. Lots of GLBTI people are having children. And it's really, I think it's really important to have events that they can come to. So, so where does the fun. dog festival come from? You love dogs. Yeah, yeah, I'm a real dog <laughs> freak. I'm a bit of a dog whisperer. I like to, uh, I like to call myself. Was Murphy in there with you? He was, he was. He, Murphy doesn't enter because it would be a conflict of interest, well, yeah, yeah, being true. my child. He looks like he's smiling all the time. That's one happy Boy. dog. Well, well, anyone with me would smile. <laughs> I think Murphy has quite a good life, actually. Yeah, I yes, think he Murphy does. Yeah. yeah. And also, last night, uh, I had my, we had a debate, um, which is uh, Jacinda Ardern against Richard Hills, and we have lots of MPs, and Ursula Carlson, and Eli Matheson, comedians, and Gilda Kirkpatrick came along from the Housewives. She I was the, uh, that was brilliant. She was the adjudicator, and she totally kept them all, like, in line. She's, I wouldn't like, miss her. She's yeah, lovely. Yeah. She is Queen Bee. She's mm. amazing. So um, it was fantastic, and we raised lots of money for Positive Women, which is a organisation for women living with HIV, because they're often out of, out of the limelight, but it's good to support them. So let's get a bit of your backstory. Can you tell us about about you growing up in New Zealand? Well, I grew up in Topo, which is, yeah. you know, a small town in the middle of the uh, the North Island. And, you know, it was it was one of those... Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a typical story. You know, kid grows up gay, kid kind of has a bit of a rough time at school, kid gets into, like, you know, um, community theatre and all that kind of stuff, kid moves to the big city and becomes fabulous, um, <laughs> basically. And I love it. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's... it's, it's it's, it's, I was, I'm, I'm really lucky, you know, I've had a great life and, you know, I've always got stuck yeah, in and done say, stuff. Yeah. Was it hard, though? I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the victim, but, mm. I mean, yeah, like okay. things, you know, hard things happened and I've always tried to make the most of things and I guess what I've always wanted to do is try and make it easier for other kids whom are also having a tough time because it still happens. I mean, yeah. we're very lucky to live in the times we live in, but, you know, bad things still happen to GLBTI kids and mm. it's really important to remember that. And making it easier is what you've done through numerous TV shows and projects yeah, that you've yeah, been involved in. Did yeah. you always intend to move into the media No, service? not at all. I kind of fell into radio by accident. I was at university and I was really involved in student politics there. Um, and through that kind of, um, I got into my foot in the door at BFM. And I ended up being asked to come and do a, a radio show there, which ended up being the, uh, the the gay and lesbian radio show. And I did that for years and years mm. and years. We called it Round the Bend. So anyway, then Queer Nation came knocking on my door, and then Māori Television and TV One and all these other things. But it seemed like such a long time ago. You know, I kind of I kind of settled into like being a bit of a, a, a dog father and spending more time with my babies. I've actually got two dogs, but one's enough today. <laughs> one's enough today. Definitely. No, but it's really interesting listening to you talk about that because I guess you know a few years ago a lot of people were probably not that keen to put themselves out in front of the rest of the country and say, hey, look at me, I'm gay, I'm happy to be mm -hmm. gay. Mm -hmm. uh, so what made you get over that barrier? Were you just comfortable your whole life? Um, I think it was a case of no one was doing it in New Zealand. Right. Um, and I think it was important to, to kind of fill the void a little bit and kind of tell a story that wasn't really being told locally. I mean, there were things on television um, from overseas, but no one was really telling our stories here. And that's why I was really pleased to go and work for Queer Nation. That was a, a show on TV too, because they were telling New Zealand stories. Yeah. And, mm. and it's, I think it's really important for us to tell our stories. Do you, do you have any advice for people that may be watching that perhaps feel that they can't be who they are? 
I mean, it's 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 diff everyone has their own story, and it's low. You know, who am I to tell other people what to do? All I can really say is, it does get better. The bigger picture of life is that the truth will always set you free. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very rich for me to say that because I've always an amazing supportive family. Because some people don't have supportive mm. families, and that's where it's tough. You know, if you if mum and dad are going to kick you out of home for being, you know, gay or lesbian or transgender, bisexual, then it's, you know, I, I don't know what that's like. So mm. I don't know what their journey is. And that must be really hard. And we all have to remember that. And you have done an incredible job of welcoming and supporting people in the gay community. Stephen, so thank you very much thank for sharing your story cool. today. Mm -hmm. yeah, and have fun now. for the rest of Pride. Yes, yes make sure you get along to the parade and the well, party on Saturday. That See is always there. a great night. Yeah, I'll be waving yeah. the flag, mate, don't you worry. <laughs>